There's a reason why there is a call to quit touching the unclean thing. There's a reason why we are called to get out from among them. And Christ's call to get out and separate yourselves from the world needs to be taken very seriously, especially from the Hall of Church. Quit touching that unclean thing. Separate yourselves. Get out from among them if you don't want to share in her sins. For surely this is what will happen when the sins of the Hall of Church are exposed for all to see. The many will be caught in a trap because they've attached themselves emotionally to those or to that Hall of Church whichever denomination it is. And I'm not here to come against the churches or against our brothers and sisters, but many are caught in a trap in the Hall of Church and unable to escape because they've committed their lives and their hearts and their minds to that church, to that, those doctrines of men, to those teachers But it hasn't led them to Christ in all those centuries, for, for many centuries. It hasn't led them to the revealing or the, or the unveiling of Christ in them. And this is surely what all should be seeking whose hope is in Christ. And as we're living in a world where our minds are filled with every kind of uncleanliness, with every doctrine, with every knowledge, with every agenda and every narrative. They all replace the ruling king upon our temples. And this is surely is what's happening. And many have turned away from the things of the spirit and into the flesh. Will they heed the call to get out from among them? Will they heed the call to separate themselves and so not share in the sins? And when those the sins of the church are exposed, in which they have been doing for the last 10, 20 years, it will snowball into the world coming against the harlot church. And there will be much bitterness and anger and there will be heartache and anguish from amongst those who are attached to those or to that harlot church. It's a very serious matter and this is where we need discernment, wisdom and understanding to see those things. And the revealing of all truth is taking place so that we might see the sins of the church and not partake of it. We don't drink from that cup. The, the cup that we drink from is of holiness, righteousness and purity. And that's what we should be seeking. So we can approach a throne with a clean heart and mind. But the corruption is great in us. The corruption of hearts and minds is great. And it's been bestowed upon us and we've allowed it to happen. As we, find, uh, as we try to find our way in the world. But you will never find righteousness and holiness in the world. You will never find the peace, the joy and the contentment in the world and in the things of the world. Including money and possessions. Or attaching yourself to the world. As I said before, we can't play spiritual hopscotch. We have to separate ourselves. And if we separate ourselves, it means we're going to become objects of ridicule, objects of hatred. Not by the world, but by those in the Hall of Church. Can you see how it works? Can you see how um, they struggle to break free? Even though the sons and daughters who are coming out of the shadows to speak and proclaim 
all that is true, righteous and holy, and that has been revealed in them, and trying to share to the assembly of It's very important to understand. And in those in the Harlot Church there is much uncleanliness and anything goes almost in that Harlot Church through the music, through the worship, through the preaching, through the teaching. There's no call for um righteousness there's no call for to turn away from sin those words and terms are not used <coughs> hardly anymore in the hall of church why why is that because no one wants to hear it because they are of the flesh those whose hope is in christ will eat up those proclamations by those who have separated themselves. They may not, they will be imperfect men and women. They may all, not always get it right, but the call to righteousness and the separation needs to be heard. And as, as things are gathering momentum and speeded up to such an extent that all these things, all these events will take place in a short period of time. In a, in a, in almost in the blink of a spiritual eye. And it will come upon those, as we said before, like a thief in the night upon the hearts and minds of those who profess to be in Christ. And the unveiling of the works in us will be laid bare whether good or bad works and this is how the separation of the wheat and tares takes place this is how the anguish and heartache will be seen will be heard in that holy church by those who will come to understand and realize what they've been doing all their lives and what they've been doing is seeking the things of the flesh over the things of the spirit the things of the world rather than the things of God and the things of God are unseen and have to be revealed the promises of God are unseen the revelations of God are unseen and unheard but will be revealed at the right time in God's own time so we must quit touching the unclean thing, brothers and sisters. You must separate yourselves. You must tear yourselves away. You must be ripped from it. And this is what the Lord's trying to do over this, uh, in this um, blessed generation, I call it. It's a blessed generation where the revealing of all things take place. And our, those whose hope and confidence is in Christ will get to see their hope of glory they will get the revealing and the full understanding and will know all things and these ones must come forward out of the shadows and there are many who were in or some who were in the churches who were in that hall of church they must quit they must make that decision of who they're going to serve are you going to serve you the Hall of Church? Or are you going to serve Christ? And it's going to be very hard for some people because they've devoted maybe 10, 20, 30, 40 years of their lives and they will turn around and say, well, I've done this, I've done that. But it all counts for nothing if you haven't had been seeking righteousness and holiness. For the revealing of Christ to take place in you. And surely we must be uh, cleaning out our closets for him to enter in when he knocks on the door.
And he's been knocking on the door of many people's hearts through the Holy Spirit to enter in, but he's never been invited. The people have hidden behind the curtains, hearing him knocking, asking to come in. But they refuse to give up on the flesh, the things of the flesh, which include the money, the entertainment, the pleasure, the possessions. It's very important and they must listen to the sons and daughters who are not here to condemn. They're not here to bring down people. But they come with a plea and a cry and a trumpet blast to quit the hall of church, to separate and come out of the world. <laughs> 